All right, guys, so if we go to war and trade gets halted, then we won't be able to get certain items because a lot of our electronics rely on rechargeable batteries, microchips, and parts from overseas. If there's a war, then the stuff that we already have here will get extremely expensive because we will have a limited supply and more won't be coming. We're going to go over some items that will be useful for preppers after SHTF and I think you'll be glad you bought these in advance because everyone else will be paying at least double. Generators. These are extremely important. We are so used to having electricity that we don't even think about it. Life will be miserable if we can't power anything. Whenever I talk about rechargeable flashlights, lanterns, radios, buying ebooks and downloading them to your iPad, I always get comments like, we won't be able to charge anything because we won't have electricity. A generator is your solution. You could go for a gas generator or a solar generator. They are pretty expensive right now, but they will increase in price even more if trade gets cut off. NOAA radios. Its broadcasts include warnings, watches, forecasts, current weather observations, and other hazard information 24 hours a day. You can buy a battery powered one or a rechargeable one. I think these will be impossible to find if any major emergency happens. I like this one a lot because it's USB rechargeable. You can also hand crank it to charge it. It has a flashlight over here and it has a lamp on this side. It's a big one, so it has large speakers on it. So the speakers have some decent sound to them if you want to listen to the radio. It's also solar powered. You can put an SD card in it and it has a siren as well. I've had this for many years and it still functions perfectly. I'll have it in the link tree if you guys want to check it out. It's only like $29.99 on Amazon. Rechargeable flashlights. You need something that you can carry with you to light up your way at night. Whether you're going through the forest or entering warehouses at night, a flashlight is a must. Rechargeable lanterns. You need to have a lantern because it can light up a wide area rather than just one spot like a flashlight. You'll need a lantern to light up your area no matter where you are. You could be at home with no power at night or you could be outdoors at a bug out location or a campsite. If you've ever camped at a remote location with a group of people, you probably noticed that you need multiple lanterns to light up your camp. One will not be enough, so try to buy a few of these. This one is solar powered, it is also USB rechargeable, and it doubles as a power bank to charge your other devices as well. Electric scooters, because if your vehicle runs out of gas and you can't get any more, then you can use an electric scooter as a backup and charge it with your generator. They're fairly quiet and they're also small enough to ride around on the sidewalk and go through alleyways that you wouldn't be able to with a vehicle. These can go up to 65 kilometers on one charge and that's much better than having to walk. Baofeng radios and even regular walkie talkies from your local Walmart will do if that's all you got. You need something to communicate with your group, whether it's because you're out somewhere in the city getting supplies, you're out hunting, or you're keeping watch on your camp and you see something. Whatever the reason may be, something for communication is important. I'm guessing most of you have a tablet at home, but if you don't, it might be a good idea to get one because you can download a bunch of survival and prepping ebooks and you can download movies and TV shows so you can have something to entertain you after the collapse. And just like everything else, you can charge these with your generator. And if you can't buy a generator, just buy one of these foldable solar chargers. They have a USB port, so you can basically plug any cable and charge any device with it. The USB ports are right in there and it can fold up just like that. I'll have the link in my link tree if you want to check it out. What are some other items that you think will skyrocket in price if there's an issue in global trade? Let me know in the comments.